Hello students, welcome to YouTube channel of Oxford Education. Today we will discuss optional exercise of chapter number 2, that is exercise number 2.4, in which first question is there, you have to verify the numbers given along with the cubic polynomial. In our question we are given cubic, cubic polynomial and along with this cubic polynomial numbers are given. So first you have to verify whether the numbers given along with these cubic polynomials are the zeros of this cubic polynomial or not. And the second part of this question, you have to verify the relationship between zeros of this cubic polynomial and coefficients. Clear? So what is cubic polynomial? So cubic polynomial is the polynomial whose degree is 3. Maximum power of this variable is 3. So this type of polynomials are known as cubic polynomial as degree is 3 that cubic polynomial have maximum 3 zeros. Clear students? So let's check one by one. So first we are taking given polynomial as a p of x. p of x is the polynomial of variable x, degree is 3. And that's why this given polynomial is cubic polynomial. So it's a 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2. This is given polynomial. Now, along with this given polynomial, three numbers are given. And the three numbers are 1 by 2, 1 and minus 2. One after another, you have to put the values of this x, which is equal to 1 by 2, 1 and minus 2, and you have to check the value of this polynomial. Whether it is 0 or not. And then, we can check whether it is the 0 of this polynomial or not. So, for this number, we will find the value of this polynomial at x equal to 1 by 2. It is a p of 1 by 2. p of 1 by 2 is nothing but the 2 into 2 into 1 by 2 cube plus x square. It is a 1 by 2 square minus 5 into 1 by 2 plus 2. Now simplify this one which is 2 into 1 by 2 cube it's a 1 cube 1 2 cube 8 plus 1 square by 2 square which is 1 by 4 minus 5 is a 5 by 2 plus 2 so again simplification 2 4 is 8 so we are having 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 minus 5 by 2 plus 2 is nothing but the 2 by 1 so its simplification is this can be simplified by taking the LCM of 4, 2 and 1 which is 4. So LCM is 4. So this is 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1. 2 2 is 4. 2 5 is 10. So it's a minus 10. 1 4 is 4. 4 2 is 8. Plus 8. So this is equal to students. 8 plus 1 plus 1. 10 minus 10. 0. 0 by 4. So this is equal to 0. That means when you have polynomial at x equal to 1 by 2 is 0. So what is our conclusion? If the value of polynomial at x equal to 1 by 2 is 0, therefore we can say that x equal to 1 by 2 is 0 of given polynomial p of x. For this value of x, which value for x equal to 1 by 2, the value of this given polynomial becomes 0. And that's why we can say that this value 1 by 2 is the 0 of given polynomial. Clear? As our polynomial is to be polynomial, it can have maximum 3 zeros. So out of that 3 zeros, 1 zero is 1 by 2. Now, second value is given, which is 1. So we are finding value of this polynomial p of x for x equal to 1. So for x equal to 1, we are getting p of 1. p of 1 means value of this polynomial for x equal to 1. Clear? So here, it's a 2 into x cube, 1 cube plus x square, which is 1 square minus pi into 1 plus 2. P 
clear? So one cube, one one goes are two plus one minus five plus two. So two plus one three plus two five minus five equal to zero. So again, the value of this polynomial for x equal to one is zero. Value of the polynomial for x equal to one is zero, and therefore what we can write. X equal to one is the zero of zero of polynomial p of x. Three zeros are there, so one by two is the zero. One is also zero. Now let's check the value of this polynomial for x equal to minus two. So now we are getting p of minus two. P of minus two means value of polynomial at x equal to minus two. So put x equal to minus two. Where was the x is then? So it's a two into minus two cube plus minus two square minus five into minus two five into minus two plus two. So here minus two cube minus eight minus eight two zero minus sixteen minus two square. Minus number minus base whose given power so it's a plus four minus minus plus five two is a ten plus two so it's a ten plus four fourteen plus two sixteen minus sixteen equal to zero so again we are getting p o minus two equal to zero what is the conclusion p o minus two equal to zero same therefore x equal to minus two is zero of zero of polynomial p of x. So integrated values one by two, one and minus two are nothing but the zeros of this polynomial. Done. So first part of the question is verify whether the given values are the values of zero of this polynomial. So yes, they are the values of zeros of this polynomial. Cube polynomial is there, and three zeros are there. So next part of the question is we have to verify relationship between these zeros and coefficients of this polynomial. Then, so for verification, we have to write this given polynomial as a two x cube, two x cube plus x square. Minus five x plus two. So compare this given polynomial with the standard form of cubic polynomial, which is a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus b, and condition is b is not equal to zero. Clear, students? So by comparing these coefficients of standard form with the given polynomial, we are getting the values of a, b, c, and d. So it is the value of a, a equal to two. A is the coefficient, coefficient of the x cube term. B is the coefficient of x square term. So b equal to here one x square is there. So b equal to one. Similarly, c is the coefficient of x term. So c equal to minus five. C equal to minus five. And similarly, b equal to two. B is the constant term whose value is So these are the coefficients, and three zeros are there. So that zeros are alpha, beta, and gamma. So let me write it over here. Value of alpha that is first zero. First zero that is one by two. One by two. Beta second zero. Let us have which is one, and gamma which is minus two. Cubic polynomial is there. Make some three zeros are there. So three zeros are alpha, beta, and gamma. So these are the values of zeros. Zeros of polynomial. Done. Now we have to verify the relationship between these three zeros and these coefficients. So for cubic polynomial, three equations are there. So we have to verify all the three equations. Done. So let us consider the first equation. That is nothing but the sum of zeros. Sum of zeros of polynomial. So that is given by alpha plus beta plus gamma, and that is equal to minus b by a. 
sum of zero so polynomial alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus b by a. We have to verify this relation. So for that we are checking left hand side of this equation. So left hand side of this equation is alpha plus beta plus gamma. Alpha plus beta plus gamma. So what is alpha? One by two plus beta one plus gamma minus two. So put it minus. So simplification is one minus two minus one. So it's a one by two minus one. So simplify this two ones are two one minus two. It's a minus one by two. So value of left hand side of this equation is minus one by two. Minus one by two. Similarly, we have to check the right hand side. So right hand side of this equation is minus b by a. So what is minus b by a? Minus b. Value of b. B is nothing but the coefficient of x square. So which is equal to one. So one by a. A is nothing but the coefficient of x cube. This value is two. So minus one by two. So here, value of the right hand side is also minus one by two. So for the first equation, sum of the zeros of the polynomial left hand side is equal to right hand side. So that's verified. Done. Now next formula is there. It's a sum of product of two zeros. Huh? Right? Sum of product of two zeros. Sum of product of two zeros. So that is given by alpha beta plus beta gamma gamma alpha. Equal to c by a. alpha beta beta gamma gamma alpha equal to c by a. So now we have to verify. It. So left hand side. I am directly putting the values in this left hand side. Alpha beta. Let me write it. Alpha beta plus beta gamma gamma alpha. So alpha into beta. Alpha into beta. One by two into two. One. So it's a one by two. Plus beta gamma one into minus two, so which is minus two plus alpha gamma one by two into minus two, which is minus one. One by two into minus two minus one, so it's a minus three. So this is equal to one by two minus three. Two three is a six. One minus six minus five by two. So when you open the left hand side, is equal to minus five by Two. Right hand side is minus five by two. Now right hand side, right hand side is c by a. What is c? Minus five, minus five by a. A is two. So it's a minus five by two. So here we can say that right hand side is minus five by two. So we will verify left hand side is equal to right hand side. Left hand side is equal to right hand side for the second formula. Three formulas are there for cubic polynomial, and two formulas are there for the quadratic polynomial, and one formula is for the linear polynomial. So now third formula, that is product of zeros. Product of zeros. That is given by alpha into beta into gamma. Equal to minus b by a alpha into beta into gamma equal to minus b by a. So put the left hand side. So left hand side is nothing but the product of zeros alpha into beta into gamma. Put alpha beta into gamma from here. One by two into one into minus two. So two two cut minus one is there. So multiplication is minus one. So value of the left hand side is minus one. Now similarly for the right hand side. So for the right hand side, you have to put minus b by a. Minus b by a. So minus b. B is the constant term, which is two. So minus two by a. A is coefficient of x cube, which is two. So two by minus two by two. Minus one. So here, value of the 
right hand side equal to minus one. Minus one. Okay, students. So this is how you can verify the given values are the zeros of given polynomial or not. And if if they are zeros of this given polynomial, you can also verify relationship between zeros and coefficients of that polynomial. So pause the video to note it down. Two polynomial is given. Values are given. First, we have to check whether the given values are the values of zeros for this polynomial or not. So, first, we are finding the value of this polynomial for x equal to two. So, we are having p of two. So, it will be two cube minus four into two square plus five into two minus two, replacing all the values of this x. With two, that is the value of this polynomial for x equal to two. That is p of two. So two cube eight minus this two square four 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 is a sixteen plus five two is a ten minus two. So here the value of polynomial for x equal to two is addition of this ten plus eight eighteen minus sixteen minus two minus eighteen. So 18 minus 18 equal to zero. So if we are getting p of 2 equal to zero, value of polynomial for x equal to 2 is zero, which implies that, which means that x equal to 2 is zero of given polynomial p of x. X equal to 2 is the zero of given polynomial. Done. So now we will check for the second value. That is, put x equal to one. So we are getting p of one. So it's a one cube minus four into one square plus five into one minus two. So one cube is one. This is minus four. This is plus five and minus two. So one plus five, six. Six minus six, zero. So value of polynomial for x equal to one is also zero. So therefore, we can say that x equal to one is zero of polynomial p of x. Done. Now, friends, third value. So two, one, and one are the zeros of this given polynomial. So here we can say that. Three zeros of this given polynomial. Alpha, alpha is two, beta is one, and gamma. Right? Two equal zeros are there. So gamma equal to one. Ye, ye one beta ki ye one, ye one gamma ki ye. This will be the same thing. Same value. Hai. So three zeros are there. Alpha, beta, and gamma. Clear? Now we have to verify relationship. So for that we have to write the polynomial p of x, which is x cube minus 4x square plus 5x minus 2. Compare this given polynomial with the standard form of cubic polynomial, which is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b, where a is not equal to zero. You have to compare the given polynomial with the standard form of given polynomial. So we are getting coefficients. First, a a is the coefficient of x cube, which is nothing but the one. Then we are getting the b b is nothing but the coefficient of x square, which is minus four. Third coefficient is c coefficient of x coefficient of x is five. And d is the constant term, which is minus two. So all the coefficients are there, all the zeros are there, and we have to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficient. For cubic polynomial, three formulas are there. So let's start with the first formula. That first formula is sum of zeros, sum of zeros, which is alpha plus beta plus gamma, which is equal to minus b by a. First formula. So in which left hand side is 
sum of these zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma so this alpha plus beta plus gamma zero so far you get alpha beta gamma 2 plus 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 plus 1 so value of the left hand side is 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 Now, what is the right hand side? So, right hand side is minus b by a minus b. B is what? A minus minus four by a. A is what? So, minus minus plus four by one, so which is four. So, here value of the right hand side of the equation is also four. Value of the right hand side of the equation is four. So, left hand side is equal to right hand side. So first formula is verified. Clear, friends? So now second formula: sum of two zeros. Sum of product of two zeros. Product of Two zeros. So our product of two two zeros. So which is alpha beta, beta gamma, gamma alpha is equal to C by E. So here again left hand side, left hand side of this equation is alpha beta plus beta gamma, gamma alpha, alpha beta, alpha beta two into one. So which is two beta into gamma. Beta into gamma one into one one plus alpha gamma two into one so two. So this is equal to five. Similarly, value of the right hand side of this equation is c by a c five a one. So it's a five by one. So again, right hand side is five. So for this equation, sum of product of two zeros, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this formula is also verified. Third formula. What is the third formula? Product of zeros. Product of all the zeros. Product of all the zeros. How many zeros are there? Three zeros are there. Yes, it is cubic polynomial. Three zeros are there. So it's alpha into beta into gamma. So this left hand side, left hand side of this equation is alpha into beta into gamma. Product of all these three zeros, two into one into one, two into one into one, which is equal to two. So here, value of the left hand side is two. Similarly, right hand side. Right hand side equal to minus d by a, minus d by a. So minus d, d is again minus. So minus minus, which will be plus by a, which is one, which is equal to two. So here again, right hand side equal to left hand side. So third formula is also verified. Clear, friends? So this is how you can solve your question number one. So pause the video to note it down. Here we are given that find the cubic polynomial with sum sum of product of its zeros taken two at a time and the product of zeros as two minus zero and minus fourteen respectively. So what you have to find you have to find the cubic polynomial. So another form of cubic polynomial is a x cube plus b x squared plus c x. Plus d, where the condition is a is not equal to zero. You have to find this cubic polynomial in which we are given sum of zeros. Cubic polynomial degree three, so make some three zeros are there. So let the three zeros are alpha, beta, and gamma. So that sum of zeros are so alpha plus beta plus gamma. These are the three zeros. And that sum of zeros given sum of zeros two. Sum of product of these zero taken under two, which is alpha beta, beta gamma, gamma alpha. Sum of product of zeros taken under two, and they are minus seven. And product of these zeros, 
product alpha into beta into gamma product is minus 14 so by using this data we have to obtain this cubic polynomial clear students so we will use this formula we are having one formula which is sum of product of zeros is equal to minus b by a minus b by a and then minus b by a is nothing but the 2 given this is given done so now what we are doing taking this minus b by a equal to 2 equal to k this is some real number we are assuming let this ratio equal to k which is some real number this 2 is nothing but the 2 by 1 now transposing the position of this a in 2 so taking this a in the numerator it will be minus b by 2 equal to a by 1 equal to k so comparing these two ratios it is minus b by 2 equal to k and a by 1 equal to k so getting the values of b and a so here b is nothing but the 2 into k minus n so which is minus 2k coefficient of x square is b similarly a is nothing but the k what we are doing we are just trying to find the values of this a, b, c and d from this given data put that value of a, b, c and d over here we will get a cubic polynomial it is our question so now we find a and b now remaining c and d are there so for that we are using the second formula sum of product of two zeros taken at a time so now their value is alpha beta plus beta gamma gamma alpha and that value is minus 7 and the formula is c by a and that is equal to minus 7 so from this we can write c equal to minus 7a c equal to minus 7a and what is k? it is k so c equal to minus 7k so this is the value of third coefficient here now using third formula product of zeros which is equal to minus 14 so product of zeros alpha into beta into gamma which is equal to minus b by a and that is given product of zeros minus 14 so minus minus plus so we can write d by a equal to 14 so we are getting d equal to 14a again what is a which is k so d equal to 14 k so these are the four values of coefficients a b c d put that values over here we will get the value of polynomial so our required polynomial p of x is a x cube a is k so it is a k x cube plus b x square b is minus 2k so it is a minus 2k x square plus c x which is minus 7k x plus b b is 14k 14k so take this k as a common so k is common it will be x cube it is minus 7x plus 14 here where k is any real number so this is your answer clear student one more formula is there to write cubic polynomial when these three values are given so also not out that formula so p of x is nothing but the k into it's a x cube minus sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma into x square plus sum of product of two zeros taken at a time alpha beta plus beta gamma gamma alpha into x minus product of zeros alpha beta into gamma into x where k is some real number k into x cube minus sum of zeros into x square plus sum of product of two zeros taken at a time into x minus alpha beta gamma into x so by putting the value directly in this formula we will get the same answer ok students 
Now the question number three. Here again, if zeros of polynomial x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1 are a minus b, a and a plus b, find the values of a and b. So zeros of, zeros of polynomial are given. The polynomial is cubic polynomial. So maximum three zeros are there and then three zeros are given in terms of unknown a and b. So question is find the values of a and b. So three zeros are there. So for that, let us have considered point by p of x. So p of x is x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1. So we can compare this polynomial p of x with the standard form of cubic polynomial which is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b where a is not equal to 0. So here we can write the coefficients a equal to 1, b equal to minus 3, c equal to 1 and b equal to 1. But here we can't use this a and b for the coefficients because in our question a and b are given as a variables and that's why we have to consider this one as a definition. So here what is our definition of sum of zeros? Sum of zeros sum of zeros which is alpha plus beta plus gamma so that we have defined as minus b by a but now what is minus b? Minus b is nothing but the coefficient of x square it's a coefficient coefficient of x square divided by a it's a coefficient of it's a coefficient of x cube done instead of writing a b we are writing the definition of that b and a now product of zeros one more formula is there product of zeros so this product of zeros alpha into beta into gamma which is nothing but the minus b by a we can't use this a again so instead of this minus b by a, we are defining this b. b is nothing but the constant term. So minus of constant term, minus of constant term divided by a is nothing but the coefficient of coefficient of x cube. Clear students? So that is the basic introduction of our cubic polynomial. That concept we are using to solve this sum. So now again, the zeros of this polynomial are a minus b, a and a plus b. So cubic polynomial is there. So our cubic polynomial p of x is there. x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1. Maximum 3 zeros are there. So let zeros of polynomial p of x b. We are giving the name alpha, beta and gamma. But alpha is a minus b. Second polynomial beta is a and third polynomial gamma is a plus b. Just give the name of this given polynomial alpha, beta and gamma. Done? Now, what is the formula of sum of zeros? So let us have consider that formula sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is nothing but the minus of minus of coefficients of x square. What is the coefficient of x square? Minus 3. It's a minus of minus 3 divided by coefficient of x cube. Coefficient of x cube is 1. Clear? It's a minus of minus 3 by 1. And this one, alpha plus beta plus gamma, put this values. So which is a minus b plus beta which is a plus gamma is a plus b which is equal to minus minus plus 3 by 1 is 3. So a minus b plus a plus a plus b plus b minus b cut. So this implies as 3a equal to 3. So a is nothing but the 1. Find the value of a. a is 1. Here friends. Now we are using the second formula, product of zeros, that is alpha into beta into gamma, that is equal to minus b by a, 
But here we can't use this minus t by a because t is given as a unknown variable. So we are using this definition minus of constant term, minus of constant term. So constant term is one. So minus of constant term divided by coefficient of x square, which is one. So minus of constant term by one, so which is equal to minus one. So what is the product of this alpha, beta, and gamma? A minus b a is one. So it's a one minus b into beta a, which is one, into a plus b a equal to one. So it's a one plus b, one plus b equal to minus one. One minus b into one plus b, which is one square minus b square equal to minus one. Take this b square on the right hand side, minus one on the left hand side. So it's a one plus one equal to two, and this will be plus b square. So taking the square root of this b square, we are getting b equal to plus or minus root two. So this is the value of b. So this is the value of a. This is the value of b. Here you have to find. Clear, friends? So pause the video to learn it. Question number four is that if two zeros of this polynomial x is to four minus six x cube minus twenty six x square plus one thirty eight x minus thirty five are two plus or minus root three. Find the other zeros. So here we are given one polynomial. Let's take as a p of x. So given polynomial is x is to four minus six x cube minus twenty six x square plus one thirty eight x minus thirty five. This is given polynomial. The degree of this given polynomial is four. So maximum power of variable x is four. So degree of this polynomial is four. So here degree is four. That means it is bi-quadratic polynomial. Which polynomial, polynomial is there? It's a bi-quadratic polynomial. Bi-quadratic polynomial. Degree is four. So maximum number of zeros are four. For this polynomial. We can find maximum four zeros. There, four zeros can be possible zeros are there. So out of that four zeros, two plus or minus root three, two zeros are given, and the remaining two zeros, that is other zeros, then we have to find. Clear? So given two zeros are two plus or minus root three. So now we are given that two zeros, that is two plus root three. And two minus root three are zeros of p of x. So if they are zeros of p of x, we can say that x minus two plus root three and x minus two minus root three are factors. Factors of p of x. These two terms are the factors of p of x, and therefore, open this bracket. It will be x minus two minus root three, and for this term, so x minus two plus root three are factors of p of x. They are the factors of p of x. Both are the factors of p of x. That means their multiplication is also factor of p of x. So here we can say that writing this polynomial as a x minus two minus root three, and this one as a x minus two plus root three. So their multiplication is also factor of p of x. So what is the multiplication of these two terms? It's a a minus b. And a plus b, so it's a square minus b square. So here, first term square, x minus two whole square minus second term square, square root of three whole square. This one is factor of factor of p of x. Here, so simplify this. This one is x minus two whole square. So this is nothing but the x square minus four x plus four minus square root of three square, which is minus three. So this term is is 
फैक्टर ऑफ फैक्टर ऑफ पीओ एक्स इट्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर माइनस थ्री प्लस फोर माइनस थ्री मीन्स वन सो अल्टीमेटली वी कैन से दैट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस वन दिस इज वन पॉइंट इज द फैक्टर ऑफ इज द फैक्टर ऑफ पॉइंट पीओ एक्स we have to divide the given polynomial with this polynomial so we need another factor of polynomial our question is to find the other zeros zeros are given so from the zero uh, given zeros we can find the factors from the given factors we can find the remaining factors after obtaining the remaining factors we can get the remaining zeros clear students so x square minus 4x plus 1 is the factor of this polynomial p of x Which implies, if we divide our given polynomial p of x, this one by this polynomial, if we divide given polynomial p of x with this factor, our remainder will be zero. Clear? Our remainder in the long division will be zero. So now for the next step, we are dividing this given polynomial p of x with this factor. So what is our p of x? Which is x raised to four minus six x cube minus twenty six x square plus one thirty eight x minus thirty five, which is in standard form. That will be our dividend. So now long division. So it's a x raised to four minus six x cube minus twenty six x square plus one thirty eight x minus thirty five. Divide this one. With this factor, and that factor is x square minus 4x plus 1, which is also in the standard form. X square minus 4x plus 1. Long division. So all of you know long division. For that, we have to perform the division of its leading terms. So it's a x raised to 4 divided by x raised to 2. So x square is there. So write the x square in quotient part and multiply by these three terms with this x square. So it's a x raised to 4 minus 4x cube plus x square. Change the sign. First term will be cut. So minus 6x cube plus 4x cube. That will be minus 2x cube minus 26x square minus x square. That will be minus 27x square. And the remaining terms take them with 138x minus 35. Clear? Now for the second step. We have to consider this minus 2x cube as a leading term. It's a minus 2x cube as a leading term divided by this x square. So we are getting this minus 2x. So put it over here in the quotient part minus 2x and multiply all these three terms with this minus 2x. So it's a minus 2x cube minus minus plus 4 to the 8x square and this will be minus 2x minus 2x. Done. Now change the sign. Plus minus plus. First term will be cut. Equal sign. So opposite sign and equal value. Minus twenty seven x square minus eight. So minus twenty seven minus eight. Minus thirty five x square. This will be one forty x. And take this minus thirty five. This this minus thirty five x square plus one forty x. So now again division of leading terms. So it's a minus 35 x square divided by x square. X square x square cut. It's a minus 35. So put this minus 35 over here. With the quotient part, multiply all these three terms with the minus 35. So it will be minus 35 x square minus 4 into 35, which is plus 140 x minus 35. Change the sign. Plus minus plus. So here plus minus plus minus plus minus cut. Remainder is zero. Remainder zero. Anna hi tha. Why? Because x square minus four x plus one is the factor of this given polynomial. So if we divide any polynomial with its factor, our remainder will be zero. But what we are getting? We are getting quotient. That quotient is another factor of this given polynomial. Done. So we are using algorithm. We can say that our p of x. Ah, na p of x is nothing but the multiplication of these two terms, which are x square minus 4x plus 1 into x square minus 2x minus 
we can write your multiplication by of x as a multiplication of this two term. Done. Now to find a zero, we are taking p of x equal to zero. So writing this two term equal to zero. So x x square minus four x plus one into x square minus two x minus thirty five equal to zero. Done. By solving this one, x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. We are getting the two zeros, which are holding you on 2 plus root 3 and that one. And this one, x square minus 2x minus 35 equal to 0. We are getting remaining two zeros. So it can be obtained by splitting the middle term, which is x square. So on 5 is 35. It is minus 1x plus 5x minus 35 equal to 0. So here x is there, x minus 7 plus 5 is common, it's a x minus 7 equal to 0. So we are getting x minus 7, x plus 5 equal to 0. So two zeros are x equal to 7 and x equal to minus 5. These are the remaining zeros of given polynomial. Done? We are getting two options. This one. How to obtain the zero of this x square minus 4x plus 1? That we will discuss in chapter number 4. Clear? Here there is no required to find the zeros of this polynomial. If we are finding the zeros of this polynomial, we are getting the answer 2 plus or minus root 3. That is already given. We have to find the zeros from this remaining factor. So remaining factor is x square minus 2x minus 35. So find the factors and then obtain the zero of that polynomial. So we are getting 7 and minus 5. This 7 and minus 5 are the other 0 of this given polynomial. Clear students? So pause the video to note it down. Question number 5. If the polynomial x x to 4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 25x plus 10 is divided by another polynomial x square minus 2x plus 10, the remainder comes out to be a x plus 10. Find the value of k and a. So here, the polynomial is given. So we can say it's a dividend polynomial p of x is given. So we have to divide this dividend polynomial, which is x into 4 minus 6x cube plus 15x square minus 25x plus 10. If the polynomial p of x is divided by another polynomial, we have to divide this polynomial by another polynomial, which is our divisor polynomial. So it's a g of x. That divisor polynomial is x square minus 2x plus k is there, k. Then remainder comes out to be remainder. After long division, dividing the divisor polynomial, sorry, dividing the dividend polynomial with the divisor polynomial, we will get quotient as well as remainder. So after that a long division, reminder comes out to be a x plus a. So it's a reminder. So reminder is x plus a. So reminder is your x plus a. Find the value of k and b. So after long division, we are getting reminder. So in that reminder, unknown a is given. And our divisor polynomial variable k is there. So you have to find the value of this unknown variable. Done? So this can be obtained by performing the long division of p of x by g of x. At the last we are getting r of x. So let us start our long division. So here dividend polynomial is already in standard form. So we can write like this. It is a x x to 4 minus 6 x cube plus 16x squared minus 25x plus 10. We have to divide this polynomial with x squared x squared minus 2x plus k. Long division will follow the, uh, will follow the algorithm of long division only. So for that we have to consider the division of leading terms. So here leading term is x raised to 4 
Here the term is x square. So their division is x square. So write x square in this portion part. Multiply all these three terms with this x square. So you have to consider that multiplication. So be careful. X square into x square, which is x is two four. So कभी नहीं हुआ है, वो होने वाला है. So minus two x into x square, which is minus two x cube, and this one k into x square, which is plus k x square. Now change the sign. So it's a minus plus minus. Sign change. X into four minus x into four. It will be cut. Now here minus six x into three plus two x cube. So it's a minus six plus two. It will be minus four x cube. Now here students, it's a sixteen x square minus k x square. है ना? तो कभी नहीं हुआ वो हुआ. Sixteen x square minus k x square. What is sixteen x square minus k x square? The difference is x square is common. So it will be sixteen minus k, sixteen minus k x square. So this one is nothing but the plus plus bracket sixteen minus k into x square. Hala. This is got minus six x cube plus two x cube. So minus six plus two is minus four x cube. But here it's a sixteen x square minus k x square. So sixteen x square minus k x square. So here we can take this x square as a common. So it's a sixteen minus k into x square. So write this term over here. So remaining terms are take them down with this. So it's a minus twenty five x plus k. Clear student? First step. Very simple. Now again, you have to consider division of this leading term. So this is again minus 4x cube into x square. So which is nothing but the minus 4x. So minus 4x. Multiply all these three terms with this minus 4x. So x square into minus 4x. So it's a minus 4x cube. Minus 2x into minus 4x, which is plus 8x square. And k into minus 4x. This is minus 4k x minus 4k x. Change the sign. This is plus. This is minus. And this is plus. Now be more careful. Here minus 4x cube plus 4x cube it will be cut. Now what about here? So it is nothing but the 16 minus k 16 minus k x square minus 8x square. So again, you can take this x square as a common. So it will be 16 minus k minus 8 into x square. So what is 16 minus 8? It's a 8 minus k. So it will be 8 minus k x square. Clear, students? It's a 16 minus k into x square minus 8x square. So it's a 16 minus k x square minus 8x square. We are taking this x square as a common. So remaining terms are. 15 minus k minus 8. 15 minus k minus 8. If 2 is x square, so 16 minus 8, which is 8, 8 minus k. So this will be 8 minus k, 8 minus k x square. Now here, 25x minus 25x plus 4x. Hana minus 25x plus 4x. Minus 25x plus 4k. So it can be simplified as by taking x as a common, which is minus 25 plus 4k. Taking x as a common. Okay, now 8 minus k x squared. Now here it's a minus 25x plus 4k. Minus 25x plus 4k. So here you can take this x as a common, so which is minus 25 plus 4k into x. So here it will be plus minus 25 plus 4k into x, and the last term is plus 10. Clear? Now again, next step for the division, which is 8 minus k into x squared divided by x squared. So remaining term is. 8 minus k, so 8 minus k. Multiply all these terms with the 8 minus k. 
so here we are getting a to minus k into x square minus two minus two into a to minus k x plus k into a to minus k. Clear, friends? Now change the sign. This is minus. This is plus, and this is minus. So it will be cut. Now for the simplification of this one, minus twenty five plus four k. So it will be minus minus twenty five plus four k into x plus plus sign is there. So plus two into eight. So it's a plus. 2 into 8 minus k x. So here again, we can take x as a common. So remaining terms are minus 25 plus 4k. This will be plus 16 minus 2k, and x will be common. So this is nothing but the 4k minus 2k, which is 2k minus 9 x. 2k minus 9 x. So here it will be. 2k minus 9x. Now again, this one, which is plus 10 minus 8k minus 8k plus k squared. Clear? So now this is our reminder. Reminder: our x is there. So our x is nothing but the 2k minus 9 into x plus 10 minus 8k plus k squared. This is the value of our reminder. Now check your question. We have found that after the long division of this polynomial with this polynomial, the reminder comes out to be your x plus a. Reminder is x plus, a. but our reminder is this form. So these both reminders are equal. X plus a. So by comparison. So by comparison. We can say that coefficient of this x, which is nothing but the this one, so which is 2k minus 9 equal to 1. So simplify this. 2k equal to minus 9 plus 110 by 2. So k equal to 5. Here, similarly, this k is the value of this constant. Na x plus a. This is the entire value of a. What a is? A is 10 minus 8k plus k square. So put the value of k over here. So a is nothing but the 10 minus 8 into 5 plus 5 square, which is 25. So a equal to 10 minus 8 plus 40 plus 25. So 10 plus 25, 35 minus 40. So a equal to minus 5. So this is the value of k, which is minus five. The value of k is plus five. They are going to find. Clear, students? So this is how you can solve your question number five.